Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I thought I'd quickly talk about some affordable sunscreens that I found um, at the store. They're actually just two brands. One brand is called Malibu and the other is um, from the PS range by Primark. So um, yeah, so the first thing I just wanted to kind of address is that, well, black will crack. Um, you hear the saying, black don't crack? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will crack if you don't use sunscreen. So sunscreen plays a part in our um, in the maintenance of our skin by creating a barrier between the UVA and UVB rays that come from the sun and basically that come through the light and that shines on our skin. So if you don't create some kind of barrier, those um, the UVB, UVA and UVB rays can actually damage your skin and over over a long period of time like if you have extreme exposure you will um so it's more likely not that you will get it it's it's more likely to cause things like skin cancers and you know moles and things like that things you don't want and it's also um more likely to cause some kind of stress or damage to the skin at some level so that's the whole point of using sunscreen so Again, if you have melanin skin, if you have melanin infused skin, as we like to say in the world of YouTube, um, you do have some form of protection. I think um, so. I think dark skin, from my research, actually affords you, I think, SPF protection of five, and five is actually quite low com considering um, some of the better um, sunscreens that we tend to buy um, start from SPF 15 upwards so when I say black skin does need sun sun, um, sun protection you do need you know some form of sunscreen with a high SPF preferably or at least a medium one to give you that extra protection so that black will crack eventually if you don't use sunscreen but then we do have more protection so i never used to use sunscreen because obviously i believe that whole um, old saying but i'm um, obviously my older age now and after reading, um, after watching a really, really interesting documentary from the BBC that basically just proved that two things um, stop you from aging and actually can reverse the signs of aging. One is retinol and there are different forms of it. There's retinoids and there's retinol. So retinol is actually the main ingredient, but retinoids are less irritating to the skin and so it's a derivative of a retinol. Um, so those, um, so retinol and sunscreen are the two known things to actually stop aging. So any other product is either not proven or has not been tested well enough for it to be you know a widely known claim so there are other things um that claim to help anti-aging antioxidants and things like that but in terms of two active ingredients and um, two two main things two main um things that actually help you with your anti-aging is definitely sunscreen and retinols so sunscreen is what i'm talking about today and sunscreen is important for people of all skin tones um, the only problem with that is that people that are slightly darker not even necessarily just black people people that are slightly darker will uh, at least back in the day when we if we were to buy sunscreen you would get usually have to buy one um, I think these are called mineral sunscreens um, so these are so these are physical sunscreens versus mineral sunscreens. so the physical sunscreens are usually the ones that leave a white cast on your skin so i'm not you know an expert in the area by any means i will leave links to two um, ladies whose um, videos i do watch because they they really are very well um, educated in their field um, and one is gothamista um, so she's um, a really good um, she's just very informed she's just very informed in terms of good skin care and yeah so i do watch a lot of her videos and she you know does talk about things like that and then the other is liao yao i hope i'm pronouncing her um her name properly so sunscreen um, comes in different um measurements and what you it's usually measured by is the spf which is the sun factor so sun protection factor so um usually sun protection fa anything within sun protection factor of 15 is you know um, is low but it will give you some form of protection like I said, SPF factor comes in factors comes in from say I think even as low as five, um, but a good way a good base to start is from um, SPF 15 and work your way up. So SPF 15, 20, 25, 30 is usually what you see on most um, skincare products. So a good way to explain how SPF works is if it takes you 10 minutes for your skin to go red or to for it to start, you know, feeling irritated um, without sunscreen. Um, if you apply, say, an SPF um, sunscreen, um, so if you apply an, an SPF factor sunscreen of um, an SPF factor 30 sunscreen to your skin, then that actually affords you 
300 times the amount so 30 times the 10 minutes so 300 minutes or five hours of protection by wearing spf 30 and obviously if you wore spf 15 and your skin normally takes 15, um, 10 minutes to get burnt then you would get half of that which is uh, 150 minutes um, of protection so that's how spf works so when people say go higher you know there's you know definitely a bit of common sense in that but you definitely don't need to go as high as 50 if you're not going to be one if you're not going to be out for that long so say you're going to be out for four hours you do really need to put spf 50 um on your skin if it takes you 30 minutes to burn and you've got spf 50 it's kind of wasted but again it does give you a higher protection so kind of consider the two things depending on you know where you're going how long you're going to be out for what your skin coloring is and how long it takes for you to burn so um, from my research that's what i found out anyway so i'm just sharing that i'm not an expert in this field or anything but then i just thought it would be good for us all to share the information that we're getting so spf um is usually divided into say low protection medium protection higher protection and then very high so anything that's below spf 15 is low anything that's 15 to 29 is is medium anything that's 30 to say 49 is high and anything that's um, over 50 um, is very high protection so um, the two products that I'm two products I have five products in total but there's two ranges so I have a range from Primark and a range from um, Malibu so they're two of the more well-known brands I say at least Malibu is well known so um, I bought um, I think I bought three of the sunscreens um, I bought one that's um, just for all over the body and this one is SPF 50 it looks like this and um, I think it actually cost me three pounds 40 even though the label on here says two pounds 60 so i had to go back to the store when i realized that they'd overcharged me um so it says it offers 24 hour moisturization protects and hydrates and it's extra water resistant um so the only problem with this is that um it leaves a slight white cast it's not the most offensive white cast it's not the worst one but it definitely does leave um a slight white cast so i use this sparingly if i was to, if I was to use it on my skin i will use it very sparingly um so that's the only problem with this one and we definitely don't like sunscreen that you know gives you a white cast but again it's um it's kind of you take it as you are so if you're gonna go to the beach and you don't mind that you can definitely get your hands on this there's a lot of products in here you get 150 mls of product um and then the other one that i bought was the kitty version so i thought i don't even know why i bought bothered because i think it's just marketing you can't just use this on kids i don't know why they you know target some things to kids and something to adults and it's exactly the same product so yeah i bought the kitty one as well i think that was slightly cheaper um again you get less product in that but um, to be honest, it's not too different from this actual package in here. And then the one, the shining star out of the three that I bought from Primark is this one. So this is the um, Sun Protect Clear Spray with Coconut Water. It's actually £4 and it um, offers you SPF of 30. Um, and it says it's fast and even coverage, water resistant, easily absorbed, non-greasy. And all of those things are true. Um, it doesn't say that. It doesn't even actually tell you. It says it's coconut water. So I just thought, well, something that's got coconut water in it will probably have a slight faint scent of coconut or mm -hmm, whatever. It smells so, so it smells so beautifully of coconut and this coconut scent lasts for a good few hours because usually I get ready in the morning say around 7, 7.30 um, and when I got to work and I think I must have smelt my skin around was it 9.30, 10? No, around 10 and I could still smell it on my arm because at the time I was probably wearing like a vest top or something and I'd already moisturised so I then sprayed this on top of my moisturiser and I patted it in and yeah I left it on and it just has this most beautiful smell so this is definitely one to keep I rather in fact this is a lot more convenient than the cream so if if I had known about this I wouldn't have bought the cream and if I tested the cream out in store and saw that it gave a bit of a white cast I wouldn't have bought it so I'm going to use it because I bought it but you know uh, this is definitely better so like I said this is just a spray you spray it onto your skin you, you don't even need to moisturize because it's so moisturizing I have sprayed it on my legs without moisturizing and it's just lasted all day my legs haven't gone dry um, the only thing about this is if you moisturize your skin before and you put this on top and then you rub it it will peel so it will start leaving those little grainy bits so when what i do once if i have moisturized on that day and i put this on top i will just pat it into my skin with my hand i won't rub it 
so that's the only thing with this but um, it's really really good it smells so so lovely I didn't really expect this and this is like my favorite thing from Primark out of the you know the sunscreens and then the other um, oh sorry yes the four things that's how I bought four versions of this I bought this I bought the kiddie version I also bought the facial cream and this facial cream is SPF 30 and it says it's the mattifying face cream with SPF and vitamin E um, it says it's light and gentle and it hydrates skin um, so this one you get 50 ml of products I only use this when I'm wearing foundation because it also leaves a white cast but because it's SPF 30 and it's a mattifying um, sunscreen which is unusual because they they tend to be greasy so I like this for that so I wear it on days when I know I'm gonna wear a foundation or powder or something to cover my skin I know um, I can wear this and it'll be fine um, so it definitely absorbs really well and it is um, it's matted in fact it, does, it doesn't actually leave my skin looking mattified on it funny enough but it does leave my skin not looking greasy so it makes my skin look normal like healthy yeah like that but with the white cast and then <clears throat> moving on to the two products from malibu so this product is um the malibu uh spf 20 lotion it offers medium protection it smells um quite nice it doesn't have it has um, a slightly floral fragrance it's really really nice so it has um the typical sunscreen smell but then it has a kind of fruity smell um on top of it it's so so nice um spf 20 so i know i'm gonna get a good amount of protection from it i'm not bothered by the fact that's spf 20 um i got this from poundland um i haven't seen it i, I should have got more of this because um you get about 100 ml of products for was it a pound or so um sometimes poundland does you know more expensive products they might sell things for two pounds three pounds depending on what they are but i think this was one pound and i should have got more but yeah so this is for all over the body and i like that um so i use this sometimes as well so if i use this i won't go in with this but if i know i've only used my um, normal body moisturizer and i want protection for the rest of my body i'll use this and then um lastly so um this is the tropic by malibu range so they're both malibu but i think this one has a more coconutty tropical smell to it this is spf 30 and this is actually their face cream and it says high protection and um it says it comes it contains aloe vera and vitamin e it blocks uv and UV, uvb and it's water resistant as well so this is also another good one especially specifically for the face and the good thing about these two is that they don't leave a white cast so if you had to choose between the two i would only buy this and i wouldn't really bother with the primark ones i would definitely still get the aerosol spray this one definitely but in terms of creams i would use this because this i can use with or without foundation so um i don't need to worry about or having to put something on my face when I use this because there's nothing to cover it sinks into the skin and it doesn't leave a white cast so um, yeah and um, I think this one is is it meant to be the anti-aging one I'm not sure I don't think this is maybe it's the anti aging one no it's not so it's just like a normal um, sunscreen and it's SPF 30 and it's great it's not greasy so those um, products are um, the products I'm currently juggling right now and I hope to you know finish it up before the end of the year um, the good the thing about um, sunscreen I think they tend to last for about a year and a half so if you do have some from the previous year you I think you can use them depending on obviously look at the ingredients look at the back of the product and if it says like say 12 months you have only got that year to use it you're supposed to use it all throughout the year but I suppose most people tend to use it more during the hot weather so say from like the end of spring summer high summer into like the beginning of autumn that's when a lot of people give um, SPF um, sunscreen a lot of attention so you really should be using it every day but um, I also do the same I would use something with sunscreen in it every with S some kind of SPF factor um, some I would use um, a product a moisturizer with some kind of SPF um, protection to it um, but not really a high one during the year but in summer I definitely go like 30 and above that's what I tend to do so yeah so those are, those are the affordable um, sunscreens that I have and that I'm using at the moment um, so if you like this video please don't forget to give it so if you like this video so please so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the notification yeah don't forget to hit the notification button so you don't miss another upload from me and yeah so hope you learned something and yeah I'm gonna leave the links like I said to those two ladies and um, yeah anything else any other helpful information i can find i will leave the links down below hope you enjoy this video so until next time stay blessed bye